Our goal for tonight is to give you a financial overview of the church's operation in 2011, as well as a look at our session-approved budget for um, 2012. Uh, this will be a summary level overview. However, for those of you who would like to dig into the detail, uh, the 2011 unaudited financial statements and the 2012 operating budget detail have been made available to you um, in the uh, narthex as you enter tonight. Traditionally, only the church's operating account has been presented to the congregation. Uh, this was because the operating account is comprised of the lion's share of our receipts and disbursements. And prior to the recession, we ran uh, significant surpluses in this account that covered over any shortfall in our other accounts. Tonight, we're gonna review all the accounts uh, because we have experienced a decline in our per capita giving to the point that we're not covering our ongoing cash requirements. Unlike most households and businesses that keep track of their income and expenses in one account, most churches and governments use a number of separate accounts and they're often referred to as funds. The account with the most activity is our operating account. The operating account is like our family checkbook. The majority of your contributions, um, the envelopes, the pledges, the loose offerings, go into this account. Also, this is the account that we use to pay most of our expenses, such as salaries, janitorial, landscaping, and such. You can see on the slide that last year, we had receipts of around 6.5 million into this account and expenditures of about 6.1 million, giving us a surplus in the account of a little over $400,000. This is the account that you are used to seeing high, uh, in the monthly highlight. The next account is like your home mortgage. We still owe 11 million dollars on our, over 11 million dollars on our mortgage. mortgage. In uh, 2011, our monthly mortgage payment was 72,000 uh, dollars. We call this account our building fund. Here you see that the congregation contributed about 690,000 to this fund, but our total payments were 826,000 leaving us 137,000 short. Fortunately, in prior years, Ken Williams and the uh, session set aside a cash fund uh, to uh, carry us through such shortfalls like what we're, we experienced in 2011. And it looks like we've got enough in that fund to carry us through to our, our next capital campaign. The next account we're gonna discuss is like your savings account. We hired consultants to survey our facilities and tell us how much we need to save in order to have the funds necessary to repair or replace our facilities and equipment when they wear out. They reported to us that we need to save about $5 million to cover these costs over the next 30 years. These funds would be used to repair or replace roofs, our 54 air conditioning units, uh, our computers, and so on. In their report, they recommended that we save $800,000 in 2011, and then between $400,000 and $500,000 uh, each year after that. This savings account is called our capital reserve account. Uh, we entered 2011 with just $29,000 in, in that account. This slide shows in the blue that we allocated $592,000 of the proceeds from the sale of the Haven Street apartments into our capital reserve account. We spent uh, 146,000 of those funds for repairing and replacing the facility, increasing the account by a net of 446,000 for the year. This was significantly less than the 800,000 that the uh, consultants recommended that we uh, set aside. But our intent is to use the um, uh, surplus uh, from the operating account, if you recall, there was 415,000. We intend to use that in 2012 to help make up this shortfall. Uh, we also have other savings accounts uh, to handle issues like the fact that we always spend more than we take in for the first 11 months of the year um, uh, until the year-end giving in December. We also needed to set aside funds to provide housing for the associate pastor that we're in the process of hiring. We started 2011 with virtually zero in these uh, accounts. 
This slide shows that we built up these other reserve accounts to their appropriate balances by allocating to them $1 million of the proceeds of the Haven Street apartment sale, uh, $500,000 of the operating surplus we had from 2010, and then we also had $500,000 of other receipts we allocated into this account. We spent $800,000 um, during the year uh, in these accounts, yielding a net increase of about $1.2 million. Obviously, most of this increase came from the sale of the Haven Street property. The last group of accounts um, are called the dedicated accounts. And when you make a contribution and tell the church you want to go, to go for a specific purpose, such as missions or Friends of Music or Deacon Fund, those monies go into a special account that can, and that, those funds can only be spent for the purpose that you designate. We began 2011 with around $800,000 in those dedicated accounts. You can see that in 2011, we received $775,000 in contributions to these accounts, and we spent $932,000, reducing the balance in these accounts by about $157,000. So now you've got a complete picture of all the accounts, and it's probably more than you really wanted to know. The bottom line to all this is that we entered 2012 with a stronger cash position than a year ago, primarily because of the proceeds from the sale of the Haven Street property. However, going forward, we'll need a higher level of giving than in the past in order to cover our mortgage payments, excuse me, and our contributions to capital reserve. Okay, now looking at the session approved budget for the 2012 operating account, and this compares the, the receipts, expenditures, and surplus between the 2012 uh, budget, which is the darker green, and the lighter green is the 2011 actuals. We're budgeting for an increase in receipts of around $300,000, up from the $6.5 million in 2011. And we anticipate that our 2012 spending will be about $200,000 greater than 2011, leaving us with a budgeted surplus of, of $500,000 which we plan to apply to the capital reserve next year. And if you look here, this is what, what we anticipate in 2012 on the capital reserve. You can see there the, uh, the operating surplus from 2011 and the anticipated operating surplus from 2012. We are spending 347,000 of those funds, uh, leaving with us with a balance um, of 525,000, which actually leaves us with the balance that the consultants recommended that we have by the end of 2012.